and welcome to Horn Trader on YouTube. Today my special guest is a Claude Gordon binge from the year 1981. Serial number 39,578. So like I said, it puts it in the year 1981. I was there in 1980, left, and this is one year after I left. This is uh, made in the Anaheim Manufacturing Facility. Consistent with horns in the late 70s and early 80s. Still stamped Los Angeles, as you can see. Uh, this was a Claude Gordon bench, so it's a 6X bench, 468, with the uh, 464 choke in the, um, the bell stub or the bell tail. So it's cinched down to 464. And um, it was used by a lot of lead players, a lot of... Uh, really fine players in the Los Angeles area. Claude Gordon was a teacher and pedagogue. And uh, many of his students went on to, to uh, do road work, ice shows, uh, studio calls, uh, and Broadway musicals. And um, uh, these horns were uh, a big part of that kind of movement. Uh, regular um, gauge brass to the horn, but then Claude had his guys, uh, they were using uh, thin bells at that time, and they would sand them, and then uh, and then put them on the bells, on the horns, rather, and then uh, they were ruining too many bells, so um, they opted for a thinner gauge brass, so that's what this is, this is a thin gauge brass on the bell, and it's the 6X bell, and um, they're well known for, um, you know, kind of being uh, commercial, uh, on the commercial spectrum of, of instruments. Uh, they're lightweight. Uh, you don't have to play real hard on them to get a, a, a good sound, and yet they give you that um, um, the sound of a large bore, but the resistance so that you can push against it with that 464 choke, and uh, you can still get a good sound without working too hard, it's basically what we're looking at here. So, uh, like a musical theater number would sound like this. You see, uh, you can just kind of peck at those notes and get really clean, real articulate. And that's what was really good about the uh, Claude Gordon 6X binges. Uh, like I said, this is probably one of the very, very, very last horns to leave uh, the binge facility in Anaheim, California. Even though it's stamped LA, and they say an LA binge, that's what they're talking about. They're talking about these horns here. And um, one slight modification is that it's got a third slide uh, stop screw rather than the stop rod which I think is a good idea I like it here's the compression it's got brass valve guys very uh, nice nimble quick valves and you can find this horn in the vintage trumpet section at horntrader.com thanks a lot for listening we'll see you on the next one bye bye <music>